and welcome to this Cobra Maths primary video on equations and two-step equations. Um, I would highly recommend watching the video on CorbettMavsPrimary.com with one-step equations first of all, just to get an idea of the method. Uh, but if you've watched that or if you're confident with that, now let's have a look at this video. So the first question says, work out the value of m, and it says 2 times m, remember 2m means 2 times m, plus 1 equals 9. So we've times by 2 and then added 1. Now we want to get m on its own, so we want to get rid of the times by 2, and we want to get rid of the plus 1. Because the plus 1 was done last, so we're going to get rid of it first. So what we're going to do is, we, to get rid of plus 1, we need to do the opposite, which is minus 1 to both sides of the equation. So on the left hand side, we had 2m plus 1. Now we minus 1 to get rid of the plus 1, so we're just going to be left with 2m. And on the right hand side of the equation, we had 9, but we're going to take away 1, so it's going to be equal to 8. Next, we've got 2m equals 8. Remember, this means times by 2, so we do the opposite to both sides to get rid of the times by 2. So divide by 2 and divide by 2. Well, 2m divided by 2 is just m, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So our answer is 4, and we can just test it. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Okay, our next example. So the next example says, work out the value of e. And the question says, 4e minus 3 equals 37. So if we want to solve this, remember we want to get the e on its own, so we want to get rid of the times by 4, and we want to get rid of the takeaway 3. So the opposite, the inverse of uh, minus 3, is to add 3. So we add 3 to both sides of the equation. So 4e minus 3, when we add e, the minus 3 goes, so we're just left with 4e. And on the right hand side of the equation, 37 plus 3 is 40. Next, we've got 4 times e. Now, we don't want to times by 4, so we want to get rid of that, so we're going to do the inverse, which is divide by 4. So we divide both sides of the equation by 4. 4e divided by 4 is just e, and 40 divided by uh, 4 is equal to 10. So our answer is 10, and we can test it out. 4 times 10 is 40, minus 3 is 37. Right, next example. The next example says work out the value of w. So we've got 7 times w, or 7w, plus 12 equals 54. So again, we want to get rid of the plus 12 to begin with, so we're going to minus 12 and minus 12. 7w plus 12, take away 12, leaves you with 7w. And on the other side of the equation, 54, take away 12, will be equal to 42. Next, this means 7 times w, but we don't want to times by 7, so we want to get rid of the 7, so we're going to divide by 7. So we divide by 7 and divide by 7. 7w divided by 7 will just be w, and on the other side of the equation, 42 divided by 7 is 6. And again, let's test it out. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 12 is 54. Right, next. Right, so our next example says, work out the value of h, and we've got 12h minus 21 equals 123. So to solve this equation, we first of all want to get rid of the minus 21, so we do the inverse, the opposite, plus 21 to both sides of the equation. So that will give us 12h equals uh, 144. Next, we don't want the times by 12 here, so we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 12, and that will give us h equals well, 144 divided by 12 is 12. So the answer is 12. And let's test it. 12 times 12 is 144, minus 21 is 123. And our last question. This question says, find the value of y when n equals 20. Now we've got this equation, uh, n equals 6y minus 28. Um, and we've got the value for n, which is equal to 20. So we're just gonna put the value for 20 in here. So that's gonna give us 20. Minus, or equals 6y minus 28. And now we're going to solve this like the other equations. We want to find the y on its own, so we want to get rid of the minus 28 and the times by 6. So let's get rid of the minus 28 first of all, so we add 28 to both sides of the equation. So 20 plus 28 is 48, and on the other side we would just be left with the 6y. Next we want to get rid of the times by 6, so we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 6. 48 divided by 6 is 8, and 6y divided by 6 is y. So we've got y equals 8. We can just turn this around and write y equals 8, and the answer would be 8. And let's test it. 6 times 8 is 48, minus 28 is 20, and that's it. 